In these problems, we have rational or fractional exponents, and this time they're negative. Uh, and sometimes we have some fractions for the bases that we have to raise to these powers. So we've got a lot going on here. I think it's best to take this one step at a time. Uh, when you have a negative exponent, what that means is your answer is going to be 1 over something. So you're flipping a fraction or you're putting the thing 1 over. And then in your fractional exponent, the numerator of the fraction, that's your power. And the denominator of the fraction is the root. So in this one, we're going to take 1 over or flip this fraction. We're going to raise it to the third power and take the fourth root all those things. It doesn't matter what order we do those in. I like to get the, the negative part taken care of first of all. So if I take this negative of the exponent and apply it to this, I simply flip the fraction. So this just becomes 625. So it looks like this uh, problem has already gotten easier just with that first step. And then this would be to the, to the 3 fourths power. Now I have my power and my root here. Uh, doesn't matter which one you do first. I think I'm going to do the fourth root of 625 because I think that's 5. Um, but I can always double check with a calculator. So I've got 625. I can use the, um, the y root of x key and press that and take the fourth root. And yeah, that is 5. OK, so the fourth root of 625 is 5. So this is 5 to the third power. Well, in 5 to the third power is 5 times 5 times 5. That is 125. So a lot of steps there, but if we take them one at a time, it's not too tough. Let's try this second one. We have 27 to the negative 2 thirds power. Let's take the negative part of the exponent first and apply it. What that means is this 27 becomes 1 over 27. This is going to be now to the 2 thirds, the positive 2 thirds power. When we have a fraction like this that we apply an exponent to, we apply the exponent to the top and we apply the exponent to the bottom. To the top, we really don't have to do anything. 1 to um, the 2 thirds power is still going to be 1. 1 times however many times of itself is always just going to be 1. So we're going to have 1 on the top. On the bottom, 27 to the 2 thirds power. Well. We've got power and root, right? I know the cube root of 27. It's 3. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So this would be 3 and then squared. So this would be 1 ninth. So that is a little bit of work with these negative rational exponents and uh, fractions as bases.